Hey, this is Indy. Welcome back for another video on this channel. Today, I want to talk about the Ninja Turtle Scalper Expert Advisor, the latest expert advisor that I created. And I want to go through the settings and also show you how this strategy works so you know exactly what it does and how you can use it. So, first of all, the Ninja Turtle Scalper is a scalping program, what the name says, but it does not have to be used as a scalping program. Um, expert advisor of course you can see here we have a bunch of different settings and we can go through the settings quickly to then later have a look at the program so we can have a, a look at the trade settings first we can define the volume mode we have volume mode lots and volume mode money it is very important that if you change the volume mode you also have to change the volume input let's say for example you want to use a fixed lot size for every trade then you should enter the lot size here that you want to trade 0 0.1 1.2 and um, so every trade will be open with this lot size if you choose volume money then the expert advisor will automatically calculate based on the entry price of the position and the initial stop loss what the um, lost or uh, well, what the amount of money would be that you lose if the initial stop is hit immediately or if there was no trading stop active. So let's say for uh, 2,500, for example, uh, I'm simulating the test here on a big account, so no worries. Just make sure that there might be, um, of course, some uh, different outcomes of the trade. It's not always that you lose exactly 2,500. Sometimes it's a bit less, sometimes it's a bit more because the lot size has to be rounded in the end. Then we do have a input for the TP. We can also decide to not use a TP, but you can choose 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 5.0, oh, whatever you want for the TP. The TP is in percent, which is also calculated based on the position entry price. Same goes for the stop loss. You have to define a stop loss and it's also a percentage of the position entry price. Then we have the trailing stop loss trigger percent. This means, for example, if the price is 0.5% higher, like based on the, um, on the market price, then the position open price, then the trading stop loss will be activated. And with a TSL percent of 0.1, it will be trailed in a distance of 0.1% of the current market price. I will show this in a second when we start the test. Then we have the TSL step percent. This is just um, to not have too many uh, modifications of the stop loss. So in this case, for example, the stop loss would only be modified if the new stop loss is at least 0.05% higher than the previous stop loss. Then let's talk about the indicator that we use for the entry signals. The indicator is the Donkey and Channel indicator, and you can see it here, for example, in the chart. So the Donkey and Channel indicator is an indicator that... Um, displays the highest points and the lowest point of the last X bars. We also have this middle line. All of these lines are important for the program and I will explain more when we see the visualized test. But here, for example, uh, if we have a look at the trigger, we can choose three different triggers. So we open trades when the price, let's say, for example, goes above the upper line of the Donkey Channel, we want to buy. If we have trigger tick activated, we buy immediately if the price reaches the upper line of the Donkey Channel. If we say trigger M1, we open the position if one, one minute candle closes above the upper line of the Donkey Channel. And if we choose trigger Donkey Channel bars, then we open if the Donkey Channel bars or the or a bar of the um, time frame of the Donkey Channel closes above the, um, the line. And this is also the next parameter. The Donkey Channel time frame is what we can define next. And then we also have the Donkey Channel period. So we can really define in what time frame um, we want to trade and what the Donkey Channel periods should be, because this is the input of the Donkey Channel uh, indicator. So, also, we do have more settings. These um, settings do not really impact the functionality, but we can set, of course, the magic number. If you use multiple expert advisors in your account, make sure to use a different magic number for every expert advisor so there is no, no problem and every expert advisor knows what its own trades are. 
Then we have a comment. This is just the comment for every position the EA opens. And we can decide if we want to send logs. Um, this is mainly important for um, like debugging and stuff or if you want to see more information in the expert's journal. But if you start using the program, I would recommend to set it to true. And if the um, log files are annoying to you at some point, you can disable them. Okay, so with these settings, I will just start a visualized test now in the current year, um, testing the program in Goit, but you can of course use every symbol. Right now I'm testing a lot with indices also, and I use every tick based on real tick. Um, yeah, and I test with data of the current year, just to show you how the program works. This is just one example. These are by no means the best settings. I do not know what the best settings are and please do not ask me about this. These settings could be profitable in the future. They could also be unprofitable in the future. Please do your own tests. Um, you can, for example, use the free demo version from the MQL5 market to do some tests on your own. So here we saw, for example, the first sell trade, with, which was um, a losing trade here. And you can see um, quite nicely that we lost about 2,500. As I said, it can be a bit more um, because, of course, this, these are rounded values. And we also add the commission, for example. So make sure to have this in mind. Then if we fast forward and we wait for new signals, we will quickly see... Or let me explain one more thing here. We can see there was the first short signal, which was a loss. And then there was another short breakout, but we did not trade this. And the reason for this is because after one signal, the price has to be above the middle line to create another sell signal. And for buy signals, it has to be, um, the price has to be below the middle line for more sell signals. Here we can see a um, one minute bar closed above the middle line. So we trade the next signal. And this time, um, yeah, we try to see if we can um, go in profit here with the trade. Uh, now, this was also a loss. Yeah, let me fast forward a bit. The buy trade here was a profit. Um, there's another profit. So you can see, of course, you don't lose, uh, you don't win every trade, you don't lose every trade. It's a, uh, it's a strategy and not the holy grail. So let me wait, um, let me try to find one example where we can see the trailing stop loss. Yeah, but it's really hard to really stop at the right moment, right? Um, I would choose different settings. <laughs> so it's easier for me to, to stop at the right moment. Let's do it like this, maybe. So if the price is 1% in profit now, we should see a trading stop loss in a 0.5% distance. So let me try to uh, stop here at the right moment. So yeah, here's one example. So we can see this buy trade is, uh, it's more than 1% in profit. 1% would be 230 points. And if we are, uh, sorry, 2,300 points. If we are 2,300 points in profit, it will be trailed 0.5%, um, which is around 1,000, uh, yeah, 150 points. It will be trailed in this distance. So if I go um, faster now here a bit, we can see if the price goes up more, the trailing stop loss starts to work. In this case, we hit the take profit luckily. And yeah, you will have to figure out what settings are better for the EA, for your symbol, and for your trading. Um, there's no right or wrong. Nobody can really tell what is better in the future for sure. You just have to do a lot of tests and then think about what you believe in most. And yeah, if you want to use this EA, um, feel free to use it, but make sure to test it before really using it in one of your life or important uh, funded accounts or something. So just make sure that you are really, really careful and check out if it's even um, usable with your broker and your settings. Because as I said before, um, it also depends a bit on the, um, on the slippage you get. Also, these tests were done on 100% uh, real tick data, but this is also no guarantee that the tests are 100% realistic. So I, I was able to just explain you a bit how the expert advisor works. Uh, hope you like it and um, yeah, hope you want to use it and uh, make some profit with it. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye.